June 20, 2024, this $20 coin dated 1967 from Canada fetched over $1,300 at Heritage Auctions, graded as SP68 Cameo by NGC. The 1967 Gold Specimen Confederation Centennial $20 is a remarkable coin celebrating Canada's centennial. Struck in 90% gold and 10% copper, it has a gold content of 0 0.5287 ounces. Graded SP68 Cameo by NGC, this coin stands out with its pristine condition and exquisite cameo contrast. Struck in limited quantities, it features a young effigy of Queen Elizabeth II on obverse and a striking Canadian coat of arms on the reverse. Its rarity and historical significance make it a prized possession for collectors, reflected in its impressive auction results. This one was sold for $1380. Check out this fascinating numismatic find, an error coin featuring Elizabeth II on a verse that recently fetched a hefty sum at auction. This 1999 Canadian quarter dollar was struck on a US dime planchet and graded in mean state 63 by PCGS. With weight of 2.26 grams compared to the standard 5.07 grams, this coin stands out due to its significant weight difference. The smaller planchet size results in missing design elements near the rims, making it even more unique and appealing to collectors. Error coins like these are highly prized for their rarity and intriguing stories behind their creation. This particular coin is a perfect example of how minting mistakes can turn into a valuable and captivating collectibles. It was sold for an impressive $960 on June 16, 2024. Here is 1956p proof penny from Australia, a rare find for Australian key date coin collection. Graded as PR62 red and brown by PCGS, the 1956p proof penny from Australia graded PR62 red and brown is highly sought after coin minted at the purse mint. With a mintage of just 417, this rare gem catalogued as key M56 stands out as one of the key pieces in the Elizabeth II proof series. Its exceptional condition and limited availability make it a prized possession among collectors. This particular date rarely surfaces at public auctions, and when it does, it garners significant attention and competitive bidding. The allure of 1956p proof penny lies in its scarcity, historical significance, and exquisite craftsmanship. Owning this coin not only enhances the collection but also offers a glimpse into unique period of numismatic history. This penny was sold for $1320 on June 16, 2024. Here is 1955 Elizabeth II proof penny from Jamaica, graded as PR67 cameo by NGC. An altogether lovely selection, admitting light haze to obverse legends which blends in well and does not detract from the overall impression of stunning quality at hand. The sole finest known in NGC certified population seemingly unmatched at PCGS as well. The 1955 Elizabeth II proof penny from Jamaica is an exquisite and rare collectible. This coin showcases useful portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, highlighting the craftsmanship of the era. Its PR67 cameo grade reflects exceptional preservation and stunning contrast between the frosted design and mirror-like fields. As a key piece in Jamaican numismatics, the 1955 proof penny holds significant historical and aesthetic value. This coin was sold for $1,200. $60 on June 16, 2024. Here is 1960 Elizabeth II proof half penny graded as PR63 red cameo by PCGS. The 1960 Elizabeth II proof half penny from New Zealand is a stunning example of numismatic artistry catalogued as KM 23.2. This coin features an incredible combination of vibrant red color and sharp cameo designations highlighting the frosted details against a mirror-like background. Its PR63 grade ensures a high level of preservation and eye appeal. These proof coins not only represent a significant period in New Zealand's minting history, but also stands out for its exceptional visual appeal, making it prized edition for any collector.
These PR63 graded specimens recently sold for $552. Here is an extremely rare error coin featuring late Queen Elizabeth II. 1961 bronze penny with major die breaks. The 1961 bronze penny from New Zealand featuring a major die breaks is fascinating mint error graded MS64 red and brown by Anex. Catalogued as KM24.2. This coin showcases a full circle die break on the planchet, an exceedingly rare occurrence in numismatics. The coin's MS64 grade indicates a high level of preservation, with which red and brown tones adding to its appeal. Such significant mint errors are highly sought after by advanced collectors as they offer a unique glimpse into the minting process anomalies. This 1961 penny stands out as an intriguing and rare selection for any error coin cabinet, making it a prized addition for numismatists. It was sold for $1,560 on June 16, 2024. This is 1953 silver Elizabeth II proof like 5 shillings graded PL66 by PCGS with a metal content of silver and weighing 28.28 grams. This coin embodies both historical significance and sub substantial precious metal value. Its PL66 grade signifies a near pristine condition with exceptional proof like surfaces reflecting meticulous minting standards. With a mintage of 250,000, this coin holds a special place as a commemorative issue during the Queen Elizabeth II's coronation year. Collectors prize it for its rarity, numismatic beauty, and intrinsic silver content, making it a sought-after addition to collections focusing on British and Commonwealth coinage from early 20th century. It was sold for $119. Another error coin undated Elizabeth II sixpence coin from Great Britain struck 60% of center graded in Minus Day 63 by NGC. This off center struck coin presents a striking minting error produced sometime between 1954 and 1970. This coin's off center strike significantly affects its appearance with part of the design missing due to the misalignment. Despite this error, its MS63 grade indicates it retains much of its original luster and detail. Such of center strikes are rare and add considerable intrigue to collection, appealing particularly to collectors of error coins and enthusiasts of British numismatics. It was sold for $192 on June 9, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. God's willing, see you in the next episode.